Well, back here at home this weekend, two Minnesotans are traveling to Las Cruces, New Mexico, to take part in a 26-mile march through the desert. Yeah, this morning, Eva Anderson shares how they're doing it to honor their grandfather's legacy. That's another classic. Yeah, this is here's another classic picture of dad with his pipe in his younger days. Beth Moorhead and daughter Katie Rutledge. That's just like quintessential Phil Brain sitting at his desk, smoking a pipe and looking out the window. Could spend days sharing stories of their family patriarch, Phil Brain. He was a former camp director at Camp Minogin, a YMCA wilderness camp. It was primitive. Among campers. He was very loved. Dad had such a great sense of humor. He was adored by his granddaughters too. He was really gentle kind, loved being outside. He was very generous. But among his most generous acts was serving in the U.S. military in World War II, remarkably surviving three and a half years as a prisoner of war. In 1942, marching more than 60 miles under captivity of Japanese soldiers in the Bataan Death March. When they were already starving, they were not allowed water or food along the way. He was six foot three. He weighed 168, almost 170 pounds when he went into the war and he weighed 98 pounds when he came home. After coming home, Phil threw himself into nature and serving others, including campers. He passed in 2005. Now, granddaughters Katie and Laura hope to continue his legacy by running in the Bataan Memorial Death March on Sunday, 26 miles through the desert of the White Sands Missile Range. Every challenging workout, I think about what he experienced and if he can do that, I can do this. Along the way, they'll carry his POW ring. Also continuing his memory is a fundraiser they're holding alongside the event. We are establishing an endowment fund that will create a scholarship for youth campers to attend Camp Minogen, which is a place that was near and dear to my grandpa's heart. Sharing the experience that helped their grandpa heal. They hope it'll help others heal too. I'm thrilled that others will have that opportunity. Eva Anderson, CARE 11 News. Now, if you'd like to contribute to the fundraiser in memory of Philip, we have the information at care11.com. Yeah, before he died, he actually wrote a book, too, about his experiences called Soldier of Bataan. You can find it right now on Amazon.